Hey guys, you want to see how to put more rad trays in the, bo in the bottom of your camper? Coming on up, I'm going to show you how to do it. Hey guys, it's Jarrett and Jerry with my buddy Jerry. We're gonna put these Mori trays in our in our uh, camper today. And we've already set it in there, as you can see. We didn't do that. We didn't want to hear, hear, let you hear us say a bunch of bad words because it's heavy. But all we have done so far is basically we've measured 10 inches from the back of the camper on both sides to get it straight, and then we measured it this way to get it centered. And so um, what we're gonna Sorry. What we're going to do now is I'm going to set this thing up and we're going to have to get this thing screwed in place. Um, I believe the tray actually has to come out of the slides like your drawers do in your kitchen. We'll see. We might uh, improvise. What do you think, Jerry? Want to improvise? I think we can improvise. I don't think it has to come out. Yeah, it's me as well. So I'll set you up and you can just watch us. And if you see my butt crack, well, I'm sorry. So here you go. All right. We're going to use these little screws right yonder and it's going to screw it to the bottom it's got a hard piece of plastic we think a piece of by you know plywood or something in between because this is basically on this this stuff here this white stuff is basically on top and bottom so we should just slide this out run these screws in and be done if it's that easy what do you think i think it'll be that easy I'll go to the other side and get it. Right. What's that? Why in the world they don't use some sort of storage screws on it? Yep, and Phillips. Mm hmm. I think we can do it without taking it out, Derek. We may end up, once we bolt it here so far, go to the other side and sling it the other way. Yep, and then we may have to pull it pull it out it depends on how far we can get how many uh how many of them little holes are supposed to get screwed does it say it's got four up front it's got four up front mm -hmm. so i was going to say one here one here for sure how many screws we got they're in the here we got four seven ten eleven twelve i got one in my hand we got 12 screws. So we so got six per side. So we can do four on this corner. Do one there. The only way we're gonna do that one is we take it, that uh, roller out. Or we can do it there and there. I think it'd be fine. I don't think it needs one on that roller. And then you can got one there. Yeah. And then we have another one there. I don't think it needs one in the center though. Cause the only time it's gonna really move, you've got one here. I don't think we'll put that one in. Um, so what I'm thinking guys, and so you can't see me on camera, is if we'll put all the screws on the, on the ends, because when a tray's out, that's where all the weight's going to be. I don't know that we necessarily need one in the center. Um, because the, the six on the ends will keep it from sliding back and forth, you know? And so one in the center, I mean, all that's going to do is keep it from moving. It's not really going to do much. All the torque's going to be on the end. If we need to take those rollers off, I got to that on here so we can knock the jokers right off. I'd give us one, one, two, three, one, two, three. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This is me. I'd love to have one there. All right, I'll grab a set of tools. We'll knock the joker off real quick. I think it'd be better than one here and one here, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, Jerry. if it's me, that's what I'd definitely do. Jerry's phone's ringing. So he's calling. First try. Well, you're going to need that in a... Three quarter inch wrench. Oh, oh man. Well, by God, I got it. There you go. It's what it looks like to me, Jerry. Yep. Find that sucker fit over there like that, but it won't go in there like that. I have no idea. What's the deal? Like here, see, it's only in there right there. 
Yeah, I got you. See what I'm saying? When we go to torque Seven. that, What's it's that? probably that's going to. What size is that? That's an eight. Huh. Come on, Moran. Give me the right size, whatever I need. But it's made in American standard. Yeah, standard 516 is better fit in there. That's it. That is it, baby. American made. That's what I'm talking about. American made all the way. They even got their bolts fastened on. Noisy. A little noisy. Wonder who done that? <laughs> we went to the tray, didn't we? You're 10 on the money. Hit the bean. Good. That's good. That's real good. We know it's going to bite. Matt, you got any drill bits, Jared? We can go sell tappers. So this side's going to hit that channel all the way down, which is really good. Uh-oh. $100. I knew I should have brought my job site trailer. It doesn't have a hammer on it though. <laughs> it does now. <laughs> it's a long story. I'm telling Jerry here. We were working on the my house and I had a we're taking the vinyl siding off of it because we were having a water issue in the basement. And uh anyway, he got the job and didn't have a hammer. <laughs> And uh, therefore, I have been teasing him for a year, two years. Uh -huh. Every bit of a year. <laughs> but he's the only handyman I know without a hammer. <laughs> My poor little drill may not have enough. Oh, it says it's choking. Teaster, I'm gonna get bigger battery. <laughs> Maybe gear it down below. And we're watching too, you break that sucker off in there. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go do the other side. And that way we make sure it's straight and then we can... And we can roll on. Yep. Shoot, we can almost get away with bolts on one side, to be honest with you. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Noisy. I got See, it ain't too bad. Uh... It helps when you have tools. This is going to be a lifesaver when you are camping. Oh, Lord, yes. Ready? Yep. Let me check our measurement real quick. Right on 10. Yes, I'm using chrome sockets on the impact wrench. Y'all can make fun of me if you want to. I, have, I will go out and buy myself a set of impact sockets. But for this, it works fine. Now, this you know one, what? I think it's going to hit your channel. It's going to be right at the freaking edge. The screws I'm doing are all off. I'm going to go and get some screws. Five more on the side. Uh, I got a. Ain't that a whooping? 
And I'm good with it because we got it on one side. Oh, yeah, but if we would have slid that sucker over. Half inch? Yep. Jared, we'd been in money. I still think we might be on. We'll find out. <laughs> we, I mean, we missed it by. Drill it. We missed it by. Quarter. No. Eight. Sixteen. Say, man. Oh, well. Did y'all get a good picture of Jerry's ass? Bacon. <laughs> he's a he's a big ass. That's right. <laughs> no Friends like you, who needs enemies? That's right. <laughs> you know, one of these days we're going to remember you have to unlock it from yeah, one side, side, the one side that you want to go on. I always remember you got to unlock that passenger side. Yep. Hey, Morad, if you're watching this video, star bit and screws would be awesome. Just saying. If you need a link to one, I can send you some. Something move? That latch is not latching. Roll it. Roll it. Uh, I go to the other side and see if we can figure it out. Actually, I'm looking at it, Jerry. Looks like it's cocked. Yeah, look at it. Go back and look at it. Oh, I see here. You see what's going on with it? No, but I feel it. Well, look at this. What is it? When it hits that hole, it stops. Does that one have to be locked down? Oh, yeah. You can see what I'm saying? Let me see something real quick here. Oh. Alright, it's gonna to come this way. I mean, look at that, we didn't even take it apart. It was going too easy. It looks like. back to you. I hate to do this, but I think I might have to take these three screws out. See something. What the heck, man? What do we do? It's like a like it's twisted because I'm watching that frame flex I bet it's I bet that's what I think if we unscrew that side over there and uh, pushed it this way just a hair mm -hmm. like it's not it's this frames not square square and it's not letting us lock it's exactly what it's doing mm-hmm It's almost square, but yeah. I mean, I guess it's got to be exactly square. So it needs to come this way. Mm -hmm. Take right. Let me get this stuff. I'll go over and take them apart. It was almost too easy. What do you think, Jerry? Watch out, guys. I'll move you. Good right there, Jerry. You got all three of them. Yep. Hey, 
Hey guys, how's Milwaukee tools legit? And you'll laugh at me on all my all my all my tools tools. Uh, like my ratchets and my wrenches and whatnot. I got all those at um Sears when they're going out of business. So that was uh what do they call it, Sears specials? Yeah. Not a blue light special. So Sears. Just a little bit more, Jared. Watch out, guys. Come here. More? Jared, I can get it. Alright, let's push that. You locked? I'm locked. I'm locked. Yeah, that was it. All right, we moved it about a quarter of an inch, according to my hole right here. You want to put a screw in it? I can. You want to put a screw on my end? Screw, not a bolt. Oh, yeah. Good help's hard to find. Mm, real hard. So, all jokes aside, if you're in the E-Town area, um, I don't know if you're looking at me or looking at the floor, but if you're in E-Town area, and you need a good handyman, uh, Jerry's got his own company. What's it called again? Jerry's General Home <laughs> Maintenance. We'll put the, the description in the link below. Or description below. I don't, you have a website, do you? Huh? You have a website, do you? No, but it's being built as we speak. My son's doing that for me. All right, so when you get his website up, we'll put his website in. Oh. What, sore finger? Yeah, I done cut it once. He's uh, doing what I did. I hate that I got an extra set of holes in my floor. Yeah, very good. And you you all had to get some black silicone under here. I get some of that uh flex seal. Yes. You can float a boat with it. I get it in the spray can. I was gonna do it anyway. On the bottom of the boat and the nuts, you know? Yeah. You good? Just make sure this thing locks. I'm locked. You locked? Yep. It's uh. Yep. I'm locked. Yep, I'm locked too. All right. You want to slide it to you before you run off? All right, hang on a minute. Let me come out before you push it in. <laughs> What's wrong, Jerry? Hey, that's skinny. Oh, I'm right now pushing, Jerry. I know that feeling. Or I can get the best push. Now, what I've done to stay away from that hole. Cause I was so close, I won't get what you're saying like that. That's what I'm talking about. If you're if you're in the if you're in the camping world, and it doesn't really matter if you've got a uh, half million dollar camper or a, right, come on. Uh, uh, five thousand five thousand dollar pop up. The quality control in the RV industry, well, is lacking. Amen. And so, um, so while we had our tray square with the camper, I'm going to take a gander that the camper ain't square. Yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <much. laughs> That's for sure. I don't know. Some, well, Y'all can laugh at us because we are not professional. Professional BSer. That's right. But um, if you drill a hole in a piece of a metal, you don't have to have a a metal screw to go in it. Just a little FYI. I'm surprised I got that back in there. One down. Latching like it's supposed to now? Yes, sir. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna unbox this other one. So when they come to you, they come in. Well, that other one's in a much bigger box. This is kind of what they look like. Let's see your box on it. Don't throw it at me. <laughs> Watch out, guys. Let's drop it. Hit this. We don't want to hit you. Scoot back, please. Stay at a safe distance.
so on this tray here this is a a 20 inch tray and it's a little bit it's a little bit smaller than i was anticipating maybe it's a 24 inch tray um but i got like some grill and like some propane tanks and some other things like that so when i got this one that was kind of my my thought was is all that should rest in there pretty tight so i'm hoping my blackstone will fit in there i'm skeptical but you know hey it is what it is it's going in so all right let's do her again Right there, I'll clear it. I'm right at the edge of it now. Yeah, but slide it to you and see if you'll hit the door on the way out. I'm good. All right, cool. All right, so what I'm doing that for, this back wall, um, like my, this wall here is where all my black tanks and gray tanks and stuff are at. And so I'm trying, I'm trying to scoot it um, away from that wall. That way, if we got to access it, I won't have to move uh, those. You know about them lights? Yeah. I'll turn them on from the inside. Uh -huh. um, if I have to access these panels, I can still get in there without, you know, too much trouble. With, you know, 58 bad words instead of 60. That's right. All right, guys. Sweet, there you go. More ride trees. Two of them. With uh, a little help and a, and a buddy of mine, Jerry. In an hour. And, yeah, just over an hour. And we messed up. And we had to redo part of it. Well, we didn't really have to redo part of it, but nah. we made a had to make a, an adjust adjustment. adjustment. All right, guys. You've seen, uh, you seen how we did it. So we're not professional RV uh, technicians by any stretch. We're just uh, a couple of handy guys. They weren't super hard to put in. Um, Everything I got, I got on Amazon, and it's in the description. It's in the in the link below. But um, yeah, if this video was helpful in any way, you know, just like, subscribe, share the video. Um, if you have any questions on what what all we used or how we did it or or just how we went through the process of getting them in, feel free to you know send us a message or send us a comment, and I'll I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But anyway, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope this video was good and helpful, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. We'll see you.